Welcome back guys and girls, I'm MTG Joe and today for ranked best of one I'm turning to the dark side and I'm playing some Esper. Um, so this is pretty much a stock Esper list. Uh, I'm trying to level up, want to see if I can actually make it to Mythic this year. Only variation probably in my list is I like to play Tukaya. Uh, there's a lot of creature based decks, helps with the life gain offset. And I'm going for the variation that's playing Mastermind's Acquisition, just playing a one of, uh, almost like a wish board. So in my sideboard, playing a couple silver bullets. Actually, it's probably easier for me to show you this way. Uh, Dementify for enchantments and negate, invoke for artifacts if they have something like um, Immortal Sun, clear the mind to shuffle my library, cry, unmoored ego, binding. Another Contempt, Nova, Lyra if we need to go against Mono Red, Elders Reborn could be good at times, Absolution, a couple Control Finishers, and a Mass Manipulation. So we'll run it through a couple matches, depending on how long they go, hopefully not Esper Mirrors, and we'll go from there. As we get started, if you haven't done so already, uh, an easy and free way to support the channel is to subscribe. It's a little red button in the bottom right hand corner. Costs you absolutely nothing, and it's a great way to show your support. Uh, and now we can go. We are playing Ni. See what they're up to. Sounds pretty good. Escanta into either removal or Kaya. Mono blue is probably a little bit tricky of a matchup. Haven't seen too much of this on the ladder now. With the prevalence of mono red, it usually has a harder time. Okay, it's fine. Play your opt now. Second Escanta is not really what we want to be seeing. Okay, so they waste a spell pierce here. Play out a second Pateramander. So here we'll take a chance. I faced undead if they have the dive down. They do, so we lose Kaya. So we're in a bad spot. They're getting close to being able to adapt. So just play the Godless Shrine. Pass turn. So here... Gonna kill one of the Pateramanders now. The reason we do that is when Trickster's down, it turns on Wizard's Retort. So they have enough to adapt it now. So we're basically Kaya's Wrath or dead. Opponents opting not to, and us drawing nothing but lands is awkward. So they'll adapt here, most likely. Oh. They got three. They're just playing it ultra safe. Makes sense by the opponent. Alright, well. So we're going to play out another untap land here. This way, in case they have spell pierce, it doesn't work. Wizard's Retort does get us, which they have. And now they can attack Pateramander. So opponents had it pretty much all three answers on curve. Not much we can do in that case. Cry of Carnarium doesn't do enough. We need Akaya's Wrath. And opponents got us. Mono Blue is definitely a tricky matchup with Esper. Like, they have the disruption early. Like, we have all the removal in the world. But them having the disruption is really problematic, as you can see in that game. 
So I've been glad that we haven't been running into it as much. Give me mono white, give me blue, uh, mono red. All that is fine. Keep this hand. Early removal if we need it. Escanta if not. Teferi as our threat. On the play, even better. So here, I think we still get a scant out. Gives them an opening to obsession this. I don't understand this. We haven't played mono blue in probably a week. And I've jammed probably 50 to 100 matches. Hit and queue up to... Uh, so we'll just graveyard this. So we're going to put a stop on our opponent's upkeep. And we're going to cast down then. It taps them out of mana if they have something. And the reason we did cast down over mortify, okay, so they have the spell pierce. We do the cast down because mortify can just target curious obsession, which is harder for them to protect. Uh, that's actually not the worst. See what's in our opponent's hand. So we are punished now by not having the removal as well. Wizards retort, spell pierce. So we'll take the retort here. Don't want to fairy, need some removal. So next turn we can play out the land and have the spell pierce man up. Opponent has an unknown card, so it's Styr and Storm Tamer. This protects their Pteromander. Okay, so moment of craving's pretty good. Ah, missed the stop there. So here. Gonna I'll mortify and I'll pay the two if they want to spell pierce. The reason being is I want to gain the two life off moment of craving and they'll just sack. Okay, so they protect their It's fine. I'll take the two. Use it for next turn. This flips a scanta. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. They can spell pierce this, we'll pay for it. Sweet. Kaya is really good. So we'll end our turn. 
Opponent's got three in the graveyard. So we're going to use this in response now, and we'll get rid of the Pateramander. Opponent can attack into Teferi for three. The reason we did Pateramander is it has more upside if we get like a Cryo Carnarium. Opponents are ignoring Teferi, which I think is wrong on their part. You generally want to... Especially with me having one card in hand. Search Mare doesn't do too much. We have... we can protect versus Spell Pierce. Keep up the pace! Okay, so we'll play Okaya here. Again, if they want to spell pierce, we're fine with this. <laughs> I'm gonna make you suffer. So we're just gonna make future Pteramanders worse while gaining some life. This maybe will get them to attack into Kaya, which is fine. We have a backup Kaya. Uh, so to fairy blink of an eye. That's fine. We don't really have. We could have technically hit in the gates. We have the one of, so maybe wrong play there by not escanting there. Wanna fake that we have removal though. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Uh why did you tap like that? Why did you tap like that? Okay, Cry is actually pretty good for us there. So they'll surge mare. We'll see if they surge mare again. They don't. This allows them to loot. See if they get rid of the spell pierce. Kai's Wrath would be the best draw. They know we have the Cry. Cry doesn't get rid of Surge Mare. But we can effectively tuck it. Here. Okay, so they still keep up the Spell Pierce. Okay, the Curious Obsession. Two, six, seven, eight, nine. So here you can rest in peace, just do it somewhere else. We'll get rid of that. See if the opponent wants to spell pierce here. It's fine, gets rid of them. And we'll pass the turn. They have to double pump in order to kill Kaya, waste their entire turn. They're incentivized to keep attacking us now. We'll just search for a Skanta on the end step. If they're only hitting us for two a turn.
Uh, thought Erasure is pretty good. Probably just take the Mortify. And Kaya's Wrath's back up. Let's figure out this turn now. Get the most information. Okay, opponent concedes. So that was the good of mono blue and the bad of mono blue. Play out one more. It's nice more people are starting to realize when to concede to Esper. Like there the opponent was going to be dead. It's just a matter of us going through the motions. Thought Erasure on two. Mortify or Cry on three if needed. Uh, this looks like Esper Mirror. What do we got? What do we got? Our hand's pretty sh garbage so they can thought erasure us all they want. Let's go to the Teferi. Do I want another land? Probably. Opponent's gonna thought erasure us back. Chemisters probably is the pick. But even then it's not that much value. Okay so they take the Mortify. This might be the acuity version. Just keep our life total reasonable. No sense taking damage. I've seen some of these lists play a one of Lyra. Just pass turn back. They can opt. Probably Acuity. No, well, Acuity won't play Teferi. Alright, you want to absorb this? It's pretty aggressive by the opponent. Because if we had Teferi there, they would have been punished. Our list isn't as good against control. As we don't have, okay, so we have masterminds. I can stand. Hold that thought. So we can masterminds here. We could Eldest Reborn, Mass Manipulation, Nezahal can't be countered. Let's just take the Eldest Reborn. Try to find an opening to play this. I think we need Amorari's Conjecture in our sideboard. Just pass the turn back. Hurry. Want to try to get a counter spell. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Yes, yeah, so if we get it a counter spell, then we can protect. Eldest Reborn. Just get rid of the cry. Perfect. So we have the negate there. Let's try this out. This is the game, I think. If, okay, so we get to resolve. At the very least, we kill Teferi. 
we live to fight another day. If they don't have a Mortify, we're in even better spot. Tezzeret. Okay. So... Definitely interesting. Uh, so here... It's Chemisters, the Gala Shrine, try to find a Vraska's Contempt. That's not what we wanted. Uh, hold the fake like we have Absorb. Mortify, mortify, please. Mortify one time. Opponents tapped out. We could Ixalan's Binding and kill their Tezzeret. We got two left in the deck. Opponent might have Ego. Uh, Kaya, not the best. Somebody bothering you? I'll make them suck. So we're gonna get rid of the masterminds and the absorbs here. And hit the road. I don't think we can race Tezzeret. What in the world? Excel all cards from all opponents' graveyards. You may cast. Wow. Opponents out teching us. Cast our mastermind. Let's see what opponent gets. We're still live to mortify. Tezzeret can get to Fairy if it ultimates. It is the uh, right of the other absorb. You just let me know if you're up for two. So I'll just play out the swamp here, they know we have it. Come on. It's definitely a tough one. I know what must be done. Chromium out of the sideboard most likely. So we need a Kaya's Wrath. <laughs> you must feel pretty smart right now. Yeah. Opponent's got us. So some tough ones. You saw the good of Esper, you saw the bad, you saw the mirror with that super, super spicy tech, Mnemonic Betrayal. Um, but let me know what you think in the comments below, and make sure if you haven't done so already to hit that subscribe button. Thanks for watching, and have a great one.